Every year, the Patriots have one or two receivers that become media darlings because of their performances. A couple of years ago was Maurice Harris. Dontrell Inman held that spot once. Everybody was begging that Braxton Berrios was the second coming of Wes Welker and Julian Edelman combined. All those guys didn't make the team. This year, the title goes to Christian Wilkerson, and perhaps he'll be able to get past the media curse. Hello, everybody. This is Ray Rout, and thank you for tuning in to the Patriots News Desk, brought to you by Dear Pats Nation. In this video, we will be discussing why the Patriots can't afford to cut Christian Wilkinson. So let's start by looking at practice on Sunday and what is starting to spark the possibility of Wilkerson making the Patriots. Mike Cadlick of CSLN wrote, Christian Wilkerson, number 17, took advantage of a slim wide receiver room today with Nelson Aguilar out. He was the ball magnet and was targeted by both Newton and Jones all day. Andrew Callahan of the Boston Herald gave us a little bit more of a breakdown that we needed. He wrote, Wilkerson hauled in a 50-yard deep ball from Newton during 11-on-11 work against the starters and better yet took snaps ahead of Harry. Over his six other receptions, Wilkerson won all three slants, a drag route, and beat J.C. Jackson and Jawan Williams. He also flashed his blocking drills using his rock-solid 6'1", 215-pound frame to steer defensive backs clear of the play. Hey, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you can get all stay up to date with all the new Patriots news. And if you can, please make sure you don't forget to hit that like button. Obviously, you can't just look at one practice and determine whether or not a player can make the team, but Wilkerson's been performing pretty well for a while. While answering the mailbag on Sports Illustrated's Patriots Mavens, Mike DeBate answered the question a lot of Patriot fans have been wondering, could Christian Wilkerson make a surprise impact on the team this year? DeBate said, while I think that Wilkerson is going to be a long shot to crack the 53-man roster, he is certainly making a strong case. In fact, some may correctly argue that he is deserving of that chance. Wilkerson has been impressive in camp thus far. His skill set would make him a solid depth addition on the, per on the perimeter in an X receiver role. However, the Pats are already getting solid contributions at the X from both Nelson Aguilar and Nikhil Harry. If Harry is moved, Wilkerson's chances of making the team increases dramatically. Also, he's been getting some work on special team drills at one point alongside special teams captain Matthew Slater. My sharp eye will be focused on how the Patriots will use him this week in, in practice and into the preseason. Should Wilkerson continue to demonstrate a dual threat value, the Patriots would be hard pressed to cut him. Wilkerson's special team play is obviously what's going to pique Patriots fans' interest. Even if you've only been following this team for a couple of seasons, we all know that Belichick loves special teams, so perhaps Wilkerson could carve a spot on the team that way. It's one thing to be good at special teams, it's another to put in the work, and it appears that Wilkerson is also willing to put in the work, and he's looking up to the right role model. According to Alex Barth of 98.5 The Sports Hub, Wilkerson said he's been doing his best to emulate Slater. I'm just trying to soak it all up because he's done it so well for a long time, Wilkerson explained. He's a good guy to look up to. I look up to him in every aspect, on the field and off the field, so just learning everything, end quote. The Patriots have a tough decision because the odds that Belichick will be able to tuck him away on the practice squad again this year is pretty slim. Chris Mason of Mass Live reports that Wilkerson was reportedly receiving interest from other teams over the course of the offseason, but the wide receiver elected to stay in Foxborough and bid his time. He explained why he wanted to stick around in New England. Quote, the way they teach. They teach you the game, the details, Wilkerson said. You know the details of every play. They teach you how to play football, and I just want to be a winner. So I'm here. It's being a winner. End quote. That comment has to be music to Belichick's ears. He's got a kid with some upside and an undetermined ceiling who's willing to play special teams and put in the hard work. Wilkerson will be one of the interesting stories to watch the rest of August, and if I was going to make my prediction, I would guess we see Wilkerson on the 53-man roster by the time the regular season rolls around. Thanks to everybody who watched the Patriots News Desk on YouTube and Newsbreak. My name is Ray Rout, and I'll be back soon to cover all the latest Patriots news.